Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Dragonic Booster and King Lion Booster from Kamen Rider Saber. Now full disclosure, you don't actually have two full boosters in this box. You can kind of see how the arrows are simulating. You can go from one to the other. So you get this like black hand brace piece and then you have the two different heads that you can switch on and off. Uh, but front of the box looks pretty cool. You have a nice picture of Saber Dragonic Knight and Blades King Lion Daisenki since those are the two forms that use these. Uh, on the top, very similar kind of situation here. The two boosters and then the two forms. Not too much going on on the bottom. Over here, you have a nice picture of Dragonic Knight. Over here, you have King Lion Daisenki. And then if we switch around to the back, it just shows all the various things you can do. Popping the books in the mouths of these things. And you can even use the giant big books and it can be read by the sword. And of course, we'll take a look at all that. Uh, one cool thing to note, though, is that batteries are included. This runs on little watch batteries, so you don't have to use AAAs for a change. That's pretty nice. So no batteries needed. Everything you need is inside this box. So let's go ahead. We'll get this open, and we'll take a closer look. So here's everything you get in the box. Okay, that's actually not true. There is a small strap that you can feed through here to create a loop, you know, and then it just pins into itself. Uh, I'm not going to bother wearing this thing. I can't even fit my hand through here. I can get three fingers at best. So, and even if I tried to put it on, the wrist would go around part of my hand. So it's just not going to work at all. So I'm not going to bother. But if you're someone who does cosplay with these items, it does come with a strap that you can feed through there. This is also where the batteries go. If you ever have to replace them, this is where you pull the little tab out. There is a uh, on and off switch here. There's actually uh, two different modes. There's an A mode and a B mode. So in the middle is off. A mode is for the Dragonic Booster, B mode is for the uh, King Lion mode. And then here's the speaker right here. You can see you have two buttons here on the side. This actually is what pops it open. This just activates some sounds. Uh, obviously you have all the different pins that are gonna get pressed down by feeding the books into it. It's not a reader, so it doesn't really know what books you put in it. It can tell the difference between normal size books and the giant books, but that's about it. Um, so showing you how this works, I guess first we'll quick take a look. Here is the lion head, mostly blue plastic as you can see. You have a little bit of this kind of dark gray, almost black, and then you have really nice uh, metallic yellow eyes. So that's pretty nice, but we're going to put that off to the side for the time being because we'll start with the Dragonic Booster. Again, nice gold for the eyes, and you have a little bit of that kind of dark gray, almost black. So how you go ahead and hook this on here this piece here has to fit into this channel right here while this piece and this piece fit into these right here so you just kind of have to maneuver it and make sure that that gets in there where you need it to go there you go so we're good and then close it all the way up now when you hit this it will open up so then you should be all set we're going to go ahead and change this to A mode, and I swear I can see which one's like, so down is A. So there you go, Dragonic Booster. Uh, a lot of people have said that this reminds them of Ryuki. I absolutely agree. Kind of a uh, arm slash wrist mounted device with a dragon head. Of course, it's going to remind you of Ryuki. So pop that open, and we can go ahead and start eating the books. If we hit the button on its own... Just shout spicy. So it'll say spicy the first time, then if you keep hitting it, it'll just kind of make firing sounds. Holding it down does nothing special. So let's go ahead, let's start eating some books here. So of course I'm going to start with Brave Dragon, we'll pop this open. How this works, uh, just go ahead, feed it in the right spot. So you can see when you push the book in, it triggers the sound effect on this. So this is playing its own sound. And then it said one reading. Now, if you also noticed when you push this in, and I'll see if I can turn this off temporarily just so you can see. Nope. Turn it off. The one in the middle is off. <laughs> if you go ahead and push this in, you can see how it kind of chomps. 
And I don't know why, but I find that really satisfying. I think it's kind of awesome that when you push the book in, it makes them chomp down on it. I don't know why. I just think that's the coolest thing. So each time it's just going to make this thing say Brave Dragon. So, so you can hear the sound effects. I'm going to use a candy toy book because that way it's not going to make its own sounds and you can just hear what's coming from this. Now, if you want to do the reading and then close the mouth, you can. It doesn't matter. It doesn't change anything. Whoops. <laughs> you have to push it down all the way. But if I close that, it does nothing. So you do want to make sure that you push it in all the way for it to register. So you have the different variations of spicy there. Now, if you would do it more than three times. It only goes up to three. So it only does up to three times, regardless of how many times you would do it after three. It'll just keep saying three reading. Now, of course, we can also use the gigantic Dragonic Knight book. So all you want to do, tilt this back a little bit further, and then we'll go ahead and pop this in. So it's very hard to hear what it's saying because this is making so much noise. That's why I wanted to wait until this was done to get that extra sound effect. But I can't really tell what it's saying while I actually pop that in. I'm going to try one more time. So the other thing I wanted to show off is that it doesn't matter which big book you use because, again, it's not a reader. So obviously King Lion is going to make its own sounds because that's what it does, but it does not change the sounds that this makes. And I also just for fun wanted to show you uh, that this thing doesn't fit. <laughs> it's actually the way it is um, because of how it's like strangely bulky here. When you try to feed this in, uh, actually this part here actually hits on it. So because let's compare the back of these because it's not straight and because it has a kind of weird bulk on the sides, it actually will not work. So that's kind of a bummer, but I at least wanted to show that off. Now, if we close this up, we can go ahead and have it read by the sword. That piece is right there. So you can hear the sound effect is the same no matter how many times you scan it. So nothing too exciting there. 
and the sound effect does not change when you switch it to the other version because that doesn't affect the chip that's in there at all. But we can have the chip read by this. So the normal, said, the normal sword just says special, and then the evil sword says dark special, which makes sense. So next up, I'm going to go ahead and turn this back to the middle so that it's in the off position, and we're going to have to take this head off. Now, this is actually a little bit harder than it looks. They don't really tell you how to do it in the directions, which I was kind of surprised about. You just kind of have to, like, hope you can unhook it from one side and then just kind of pull it off. And it's not great, but, and every time I feel like I'm going to break it, I don't really think I am, but I, I really was surprised that they don't really give you any kind of idea in the instructions of how to do it. So we're just going to do this again. This piece has to go in here and then line that up. There we go. So now we're good. And I got to say, I think the blue head looks a little bit sharper. I don't know why. Maybe I just like the design of the lion head a little bit better, but. I think it looks pretty cool. So now we'll go ahead and flip this up. So now we're in the lion mode. I'm not going to bother scanning this uh, chip again because it's going to do the exact same thing. Switching back and forth does not affect that at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to do uh, the same thing here with this so that way you're not having conflicting sounds. So that's really it. Uh, honestly, you have the three single book readings and then you have the one large book reading. Oh, also the sound effect for this by itself. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the sound effects for the King Lion booster. So I think this thing is kind of fun. It's not amazing. It doesn't have a ton of functionality packed into it. You get a handful of sounds per configuration, but I think the two little heads are kind of cool. I like. I think I like Lion a little bit better than Dragon. Probably a little biased just because it's blue, but I think it looks a little sharper. Um, but either way, I think it's kind of fun. I really like the way when you put the books in, it kind of chomps down on them. I don't know why it's such a dumb thing to love about it, but that's my favorite part easily. Uh... Again, do you need it? Probably not. It doesn't come with an exclusive Wonder Ride book or anything like that, so you could probably just wait, get this on a little bit later down the line. It'll be on sale probably towards the end of the season, so that's probably what I would recommend. I mean, if it looks really appealing to you and you want to grab it now and you think it's going to be a ton of fun, there's some fun to be had with it, and I don't think it's terrible or anything like that. I just think it's one of those things that you'd probably have fun playing with for about a day or so, and then you'd probably put it on a shelf somewhere and not pick up all that often. But I definitely think there's some fun to be had on with it. I just think, wait for a sale a little bit later down the line. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.